Whether you want to sell your wares for gold, make and upgrade gear for all your characters, or even make training armor for some of your guildmates, learning to craft can be very rewarding. I'm Lord Kelbor, and welcome to the basics of crafting in ESO. This is part of a series of guides with the primary purpose of teaching the basics of crafting to those who are newer to ESO, or even those who have played for a while but haven't really gotten into the crafting side of things. I decided to break this into multiple parts so you don't have to sit through a long video just to get one little bit of information. And if you find any of this info useful at any point in the video, take a second to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. Okay, let's get started. For this part of our guide, we'll be focusing on learning how to craft jewelry in ESO. I'll include both basic pieces as well as covering how to craft sets for your characters. Let's start with the basics. Inside of the jewelry crafting bench, you have six options at the top. Refining, where you refine your raw materials into usable materials. Creation, where you actually create your pieces. Deconstruction, where you deconstruct pieces. Improvement, where you increase the quality of your jewelry. Research, which is how you learn new traits to add to your jewelry. And lastly, sketches, where you'll find the furnishings that you can make using your jewelry crafting skills. For this guide, we'll be focusing on creation and improvement, but definitely explore the others at your leisure. Each character can wear two rings and a necklace, and in order to make these, you need the correct refined materials. If you need help finding the raw materials, check out my farming guide that I have in the little card in the upper right hand corner. I'll also have it in the description below so you can watch it later if you want to finish this video first. Each material has a range of levels that it's able to make, so as we scroll through you can see which material you'll need for your character's level. The next option down will be what trait you want your jewelry to have. Now you will have to research these in order to be able to use them while crafting, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Once you select your desired trait, and as long as you have all the required materials, make sure everything looks right and just hit craft. Yes, it is that easy. You've just made your first piece of jewelry. Now this is just a basic piece of jewelry that you can enchant and will provide you with some benefits. Now these are minor compared to the set benefits, but it's good for starters. Let's move on to something a bit more challenging, craftable armor sets, or in this case, jewelry. I'm sure you've seen armor sets throughout Tamriel, you know, the ones that give you bonuses based on how many pieces of the set you're wearing. Well, there are some that you can craft instead of buying or farming dungeons for. True, there is a bit of a catch, and I'll get into that here in a minute. In order to craft these sets, you'll need to find the crafting station location, which is shown on your map, and you can find them by this symbol here. This particular one is the Adept Rider set. Or, if you're in a larger guild, you may be lucky like myself and have access to a large crafting area with all of the attunable crafting stations, like this. In order to find the set you might want, I recommend ESO Hub, which used to be ESO Sets. Uh, I'll have a link to that in the description below. I definitely uh, recommend that website. They have everything laid out very nicely. Now my guild has all of these lined up in alphabetical order, so let's head down to Adept Rider and make ourselves a ring. Inside of the Creation tab, you can see that there are two different options, one for set creation and one for regular creation. For this, we'll be using the set creation. So here's where that small catch comes into play. You have to have researched a certain number of traits in order to make a piece from that set. Take Adept Rider for example. You'll need to have learned three traits for whatever piece you're wanting to make in order to be able to make it. Which means for this one, you'll have to have researched at least three of these traits in order to make the Adept Rider piece. In jewelry crafting, you can only research one trait at a time, and it takes longer to research them the more you've learned. So the creation process, while it's easy, learning all the traits does take up quite a bit of time. So just like making a non-set item, we're going to select the level, the desired trait, and simply hit craft. Very easy, and here we go, we have an Adept Writer's Ring, which will provide us with the set bonus based on the number of items we wear from that set, up to five pieces. Just like the normal pieces, we can enchant these as well. For more info on enchanting, check out my enchanting guide. In order to improve the ring, we'll go back into Jewelry Crafting and select the Improvement tab. When we select the piece that we want to improve, it will give you a window showing what stats it will be once it's improved. As you can see, both the trait and the set bonuses increase when the improvement is done. The enchantment will also be affected by this improvement as well. Once the correct item is chosen, simply hit improve and there you go. Now you know how to make your own jewelry as well as how to improve it to the quality you desire. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite set is. Mine is probably Hunting's Rage. I use it on an absolute ton of my characters. 
And if you found this guide helpful, let me know by hitting that like button and sharing the love. And if you're new here, subscribe for future content. And don't forget that little bell icon. That way YouTube knows that you want to know when I upload a new video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.